that I did the same exercises since 1986 before social media time. Why do we even exercise with children? They will uh, later be much more strong, uh, healthy. They uh, will have very good uh, coordination. Hey, they're resilient. They like to be like playing around and moving around and be thrown around and all these things. It's fun for them. She was three years old when I climbed up from rope. How do you actually ensure the safety in the classes? I always move very safely. What are the exercises that people can start with at home? Uh, legs, this kind, this kind. Blah, 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 blah. So. Who are you? <laughs> hello, Just, uh, hello hi. everybody. <laughs> Welcome. I am Vello Vaher, Estonian uh, contortionist and acrobatic teacher. Uh, most important to me is uh, that I am America's Got Talent uh, season 11. It was in uh, 2016, quarter finalist. And I have five children, all already adults. And uh, I am still married with my wife, with mother of my children, uh, almost 40 years. Oh, wow. And I have five uh, grandchildren and we all doing acrobatics or sport. Uh, one of my daughter is an ac uh, actress in uh, Germany, Berlin, and um, we like uh, Estonian circus family. <laughs> and you said almost 40 years, but almost 40 years you've been also teaching kids or like not even kids, but infants and babies. babies. Yes, and in 1986, I started to train my own children when they were in baby age. And uh, I started uh, more early and early and in 1991, I... Exercises uh, with little kids. Uh, I uh, wrote books. Can you see that as well? Yes. There's and, two books there in Estonian. We are trying and, to convince... Uh, it's in Estonian language. Yeah, but we're trying to, trying to convince you to uh, have an and, English one as well. And it's in uh, 2002. Mm -hmm. And here is very nice uh, book, how to train and uh, uh, how the babies must uh, hold. And when we are doing uh, here, uh, like um, my baby gymnastic lessons, we start uh, warm up exercises, doing very uh, easy uh, exercises. Lesson, it's uh, 45 minutes, as you know. Yeah. Yes, that's how we know, got to know yeah. you, right? We came with our back then three-month-old, Oscar, yes. to your first class and he immediately loved it. And I did as well because he slept for four and a half hours afterwards. What inspired you like in, for the first time to start training with the babies? I started uh, wrestling when I was uh, 13 and I uh, was very good. I like uh, still uh, every day do acrobatics and... Uh, gym exercises but I uh, thought that uh, uh, suddenly I not started more early and uh, I uh, think that when I will have uh, children I start uh, train them already and then I uh, started to find found uh, different exercises how to um, create uh, new methodics uh, for babies and very, very good results. And uh, all the, also I did at home, like swimming and uh, um, underwater and mm -hmm. uh, everything, this kind of exercise. Because you combine a couple of different methods, right? There is yes. like uh, yoga. Can you walk me through it? Like what was it? What are the, what the methodologies are that you actually are combining? I think I was uh, in Estonia first who did acrobatical breakdowns. Okay. and uh, also yoga positions and uh, I mix always different uh, styles like fitness, uh, athletics and everything and a uh, lot of exercises. What I can do is a little baby, maybe it's the same exercise, a little bit uh, with dif uh, different uh, 
or but I can to you. Yes, <laughs> so as or, we saw just now earlier. Or uh, who uh, more uh, weight than uh, yeah. myself. And uh, I like uh, to mix everything, mm-hmm. ballet and uh, everything. And um, to create connections. To connection, yes. Mm-hmm. And everywhere look like uh, here is uh, out of uh, windows, cherries, like in Washington DC, there are ah, cherries. <laughs> and I always like uh, saw connections. Do you put a lot of stunts and tricks and everything you do on Instagram at all that you do yourself and you do with children? And you're getting quite a bit of attention there. And there are also, when you scroll do, through them, not everyone thinks that this is the best thing you can do with children. Some comments are pretty mean. So it's like, let's, let's talk through this. Why do we even exercise with children like this? Why do children, why do babies need to do this at their age? What, why is it good for them? I thought that my own children and also maybe four or five thousand children uh, who visited uh, my classes, they will uh, later be much more strong, uh, healthy. They uh, will have very good uh, coordination and uh, later they their parents said that oh they will uh, be best football uh, football player or best uh, basketball player or wrestler or swimmer everywhere they have very good uh, like coordination and they are smart uh, people afraid that it's uh, like damage some brain or something like a shaken baby syndrome yes but it's uh, like when drunk people and nervous people doing something uh, uh, for their uh, children that uh, quiet but i never did this kind of exercise i always move very safely each movement is very very controlled and lot of uh, children when they grow up they play good chess or very uh, good um, in mathematics. Some uh, wrote poetry and they are smart. And uh, a lot of parents came to my class uh, with their third or fourth children because they thought that, ah, my uh, children who are just now 14 and 12 years old, they are smart. They are better than others. And uh, we must uh, train them already. What I can really see is that when Oscar is in the class, it's he's focused. He's very, very focused on what he's doing. And when I was doing the exercises with you just now, um, I I was overthinking some of the things, which I think babies don't do. So they are just sharpening their focus when they're when they're doing the exercises. And that's what I think that maybe like it's really good and beneficial for their brain. Uh- it's definitely neurostimulation. They're getting like new inputs, testing new things, learning to trust themselves and parents, us parents and everything. I, after the first class or during the first class, when I was uh, here, I was afraid to hold Oscar properly. It's like, he was a three month old. I didn't know how to handle him, how to hold him. I thought he's fragile. And when I drop him, he's going to break or like, okay, I mean, not drop he him. Really don't yeah, drop yeah, him. Okay, I'm not, yeah, the badly worded. But I felt like if any wrong move that I do, it's gonna, he's going to break or I'm going to drop him. I didn't trust myself. I didn't like, I didn't know how to handle him. And I guess like this, my lack of trust will also come across to him. But during the class, after the class, I realized like, hey, they're resilient. They like to be like playing around and moving around and be thrown around and all these things. It's fun for them. He was like smiling constantly. And this gave me the confidence to really, really uh, handle him with care, obviously, with soft hands, everything. But it's like just the confidence and it's a real relationship builder as well has been for us. Maybe you can tell us, like, how do you actually ensure the safety in the classes? Because I'm pretty sure that a lot of parents would uh, would question this. A lot of grandmothers and grandfathers or physiotherapists or doctors uh, visited uh, also my classes. And even maybe at home, they like scary or uh, watch uh, videos. But when they uh, visited my classes, they saw how we start. We're doing uh, 
Perfect. Proper warm up, like, right? Like uh, yeah. 10, 15 minutes, uh, very easy warm up, warm up exercises. So we start very slowly. But if I will post this uh, uh, videos uh, in Instagram, uh, people will be uh, boring. <laughs> Nobody will watch this. And it's not for views. Some people said, ah, now uh, I... Uh, You're risking the children for views. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did the same exercises since 1986 before social media time. I always like, yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, I, I did everything. But uh, in this time, uh, I didn't have uh, like iPhone or something. And uh, just uh, now I share my experience and also my daughter. Uh, oldest daughter, uh, like I, I said, I have son and four daughters. Oldest daughter uh, have three son, and her um, uh, Instagram account Acro Baby Geeks. Mm -hmm. She has already over uh, four hundred thousand followers, and uh, uh, she teach very nicely, like uh, gently. I am man and do a little bit more like uh, hard ages. <laughs> because I work with my body also hard. Some people think uh, too hard. For example, I hang it with my neck. I hold uh, 106 kilos. It's uh, around uh, uh, 230 30 kilograms, uh, pounds. Pounds, yeah. pounds. And I hang with my teeth and uh, I love, I love push-ups. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's uh, your favorite exercise, yeah, right? It's my favorite ex exercise and I uh, like to do everywhere, every places, uh, with fingers or with uh, clap or everywhere. And my principle was uh, like when I did wrestling. So my coach said, for example, you must do 20 push-ups. I always did 21, one more, because I wanted to be stronger than you. Mm -hmm. But normally, everybody did 19, because coach can't account everybody. <laughs> and some people did 20. Now I think people who are doing 19, He's deep. Who doing twenty? He's slave or <laughs> make services for coach. But I, <laughs> I do everything twenty one or thirty one or fifty one. Or now I did Always even in more. my age one hundred and one push up everything to me, and it's my philosophy that. The I train my body to me, not to you, and always with baby. I not post <laughs> for uh, get some views. I just want uh, to share my uh, experience. So you've raised five children of your own, then also grandchildren, and you've trained all of them following these same things, right? You've developed this whole thing, training your own children and uh, raising them. So what are your tips in raising resilient children and strong children, like for young parents out there? I did with my own children, with each five children, every single day, five years, without uh, uh, like uh, vacants or holidays, every single day, you can do... Uh, of course, do once in week or two, uh, two times in week, uh, but uh, you must educate your uh, children. And uh, not only physically, play music. I try to uh, teach uh, chess because my brother is a chess uh, teacher in different uh, Estonian schools. I play also very well chess. And uh, uh, teach language is everything and you must educate not just uh, uh, eat uh, fast food uh, drink sugar uh, drinks uh, when uh, children cry 
take po uh, porn, you can scroll in social media, and we must make better person. Yeah, we also grew up like climbing on stuff and, you know, like climbing on the door frames and stuff like that. Children don't do that today anymore. They're always like on their phones. And so it's very, it's very nice to come to the class here and see like the children who are. Who are actually and as you really put emphasis on the movement a lot that children love and they need to move. And this being here in this class also, I guess, gives parents a lot of confidence in letting their children move and discover and do things for themselves. Yeah, like our son, for example, learned to learn <laughs> accidentally. Uh, crawled out of the um, chair and uh, he hates to be like locked in like I guess it's kids don't like to be like confined within within certain things like he hates the car chair the car seat and the chair at home so he like learns to climb out but and he's only like not even six months and he knows how to do it and, safely and like uh, I said uh, one of my ch uh, child hang at yeah. uh, in age five days with her own finger. But later, uh, my um, oldest daughter, Lambi, uh, she was three years old when I climbed up from rope. Mm -hmm. One of my daughter, Linda, did five pull-ups in uh, exactly in uh, fifth uh, birthday. Mm. Five pull-ups. Now, my uh, oldest daughter did pull-ups with 20 kilograms, it's uh, 44 pounds. And other uh, uh, daughters also do with di different uh, stuff with, uh, <laughs> like with weights. And they are strong and they are smart and healthy. And uh, uh, I don't know, is it good or not good? One uh, daughter is uh, absolutely vegan. And uh, they <laughs> speak about uh, like um, uh, green world and um, like um, healthy um, and healthcare and everything. We are we are smart, I think. I guess there is a lot of fears around uh, doing things with your baby and like putting them in harm's way. But training here, nobody's doing anything reckless. Everything is safe. Everything is controlled. Everything is smooth and easy. And we, we love our children. We love our kids and we want them to grow up strong. So what are some like misconceptions or the biggest misconceptions around training your babies? For me, it's uh, like uh, when uh, people said that uh, doctors said, you can't hang children from hand. 100% agree, because you can't hang just so. But when a child or baby hang with their own, uh, own finger, some other positions, you will uh, give your index, index finger or little uh, finger, but always. Uh, when you're doing some exercises from hands, child must hang with on fingers as well. Mm -hmm. Your fingers, like protect a little bit. But if you take so, even when I he catch you, I can uh, broke uh, adult yeah. people as well. But babies and uh, children must hang with fingers. And, and for example, when they sit on my uh, hand or stand on my hand. I never put to sit like you uh, before six months, like, mm -hmm. and uh, wait uh, one hour, like, uh, like so, uh, ooh, and now, now they sit and uh, watch, uh, for example, mm -hmm. some uh, movie or, or, but when child sit on my hand, five seconds. Maybe she only uh, one month, two months. I fix the baby's uh, spinal and uh, everything, everything is fine. Mm -hmm. And later, spinal will uh, straight and the same with leg. My uh, child and grandchild stand on my hand uh, 11 days, 12 days later. They have very long, nice uh, legs, but uh, they uh, not start 
uh, walk in uh, h1 month because it's uh, in brain my young uh, youngest grandchild started in age uh, eight months started uh, to step with mm-hmm. her own body very like a good balance but uh, normally they started to walk uh, like 10 months so it's again building resilient children giving them challenges to overcome and things to adapt to But what are some other safety considerations when we're training kids at home, for example? Because we can come to your class here, but if somebody's now watching, uh, let's say in the States and wants to try these things and help raise resilient kids and help raise like talented kids themselves uh, and exercise their babies, what are some safety considerations aside that you just said about the wrists that you just can't hold the wrists, the baby must grab on? Is there like any other things to pay attention to? First, like here. We have a mat. You must uh, have some soft places. Watch that uh, they are, are not near some chairs or some other stuff that you need to have space. Mm-hmm. And uh, you must uh, be always, it's like uh, in action, you can't be drunk. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Obviously, I am principal. I never drink any alcohol. Mm-hmm. And uh, since married in 1986, never. I even eat candies if they are inside is some kind of alcohol. I'm very focused. You must be focused. Mm-hmm. And uh, start very... Uh, It's very soft exercise, always um, like um, easy way. And you must uh, watch mm, good uh, professional teachers or listen how they said. Not, to, oh, yeah, I just, ah, uh, oh, I try. You must, ah, uh, how the fingers, how, uh, how uh, they hold, how I explain. Not just uh, ah, some comment I uh, read and ah, maybe they know. Try to watch correctly mm-hmm. what I said, how I put. Even here in lesson, I said that th- uh, thumbs must be where near the abs, but they put other way. I <laughs> put correctly, they again change hand. Yeah, you must always. Look how you hold your children. Yeah, because it's, as you said as well during training, it's like we hold him like this so he can't fall out of our hands. Our fingers are stopping him from moving anywhere. So it's like these movements and everything is secure. There's like, it looks like a lot of movement and it looks like he's like flying around and just like not safe. But actually it's like very, you're very much in control. Yeah, And all movements must be like mm, smooth. Smooth, Move, yeah. yeah. And I not, think not like yeah. I never did this kind of exercise. Is like uh, people think uh, and speak about uh, uh, this um, shaking baby thing. Yeah, shaking, shaking baby syndrome. It's I never do the, uh, this kind. And also, I don't know uh, how in uh, United States, but uh, in bathroom here in Estonia, we take a uh, little baby and uh, go to wash in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Everywhere is stone. You hold this with one hand and clean the bottom. I never did de- de- here so dangerous acrobatical <laughs> exercise sure. as you're doing every single day at home. Everywhere is stone. Water. It's a uh, play that you mm-hmm. take soap and or some kind. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually true. Like when Oscar was born, I realized like how easy it is actually to like drop the baby. Like yes, it's at home scary. And even uh, in my, with my children, how they run at home and uh, kick uh, on the head uh, when they play. Mm-hmm. But uh, here we do it also. Uh, if, for example, you have two or three children and you uh, start to play normally it's finished that 
two heads going boom. But try to uh, look that you play with one child or that those two or three uh, children together, not uh, uh, make her something. Mm -hmm. But when we do acrobatics, gymnastics with our babies, I knew what next exercise. And baby, they are smart. They even put on body for next exercises. Sometimes when I, I saw that I forget what is uh, next exercise, but the uh, baby already put your body, ah, no, now it's coming, uh, be because it's muscle uh, memories. Yeah, they uh, remember uh, what they, they were remember. They remember, yeah. and we both knew what I must, we must do very uh, softly. Is there such a thing as starting too late when training children? Because we started at three months old, you recommend at three months old, and now somebody's watching thinking, okay, my son is like one and one year and one month. It's too late for me to start. My experience is that uh, three month uh, old child, they have already uh, li like strong, muscle strong um, muscle. And better to do, uh, do acrobatics three months until seven months or eight or nine. But uh, when parents said, ah, oh, we have time, let me uh, like grow up. But 11 months when a child will uh, uh, walk, they already knew something and uh, they run away and they want or drink or eat or sleep or something, but uh, they not speak yet and parents not uh, recognized what, what the problem. And uh, so if you come to my classes uh, first time with one year child, it's like phew, better to <laughs> come <laughs> three months yeah. or already with uh, like four years, five years, they again, oh, they are very strong and uh, smart. Yeah. But if you continue, like you came to three months and continue every week, better every day. And so maybe in uh, one year, one year off, maybe a little bit uh, problems, but you can do every day and they continue normal. You also teach, you mentioned uh, ballet schools, right? And uh, other, um, other sports uh, where, well, where children do sports. Uh, what what would you advise to let's say schools or you know other like maybe like a ballet um, school that wants to incorporate uh, more acrobatics into their into their uh, curriculum? What would you recommend for them to do as first? I uh, taught uh, acrobatics in theater school mm -hmm. for uh, ac actors and uh, in uh, dance schools and. Uh, I like to mix different um, like styles, breakdance, yoga, fitness, uh, ballet, everything. And uh, in my mind, uh, better to mix your strength to be strong, your flexibility, uh, your coordination. And uh, if you want to uh, um, go some competition, you must be original. But what is it that I can do better if I want Oscar to be stronger, smarter, more resilient, uh, be great at acrobatics, have great body control and be a healthy baby? What is it that I can do? Look at you. You are not overweighted. <laughs> you uh, probably eat healthy. You uh, probably uh, um, going outside to in a fresh air. Yep. And uh, normally, like with money, money come to this place where money already is. It's the same with health and uh, like uh, people strength. If you're strong, you train your body more like me.
I like physical work. On my uh, summer house, I like to do work. I was building engineer, engineering, but I like physical uh, work. I like to train my body every day uh, around three hours in gym. One hour strange, two hours uh, uh, stretching to be more flexible. And it's uh, advice to you as well that uh, if you can to do something, you will like it more. If you are not going on, eleva- on elevator up, you st- I saw in a supermarket uh, some people uh, stand on elevator. It's uh, to me to stand on elevator most uh, difficult exercise. <laughs> <laughs> I must learn it. I can, uh, uh, you can walk. Walk. Yeah. Because it's made for um, go faster. And uh, I like to not with one step. I normally, uh, in my, uh, uh, when I was younger, Three steps, three steps, three steps. Now I am soon 61. I go two steps, two steps, two steps. And people, if you walk, you will like it. Maybe you like a uh, bicycle. Sorry, I'm not a bike, uh, bicycle man, but I do t- <laughs> uh, other, other things. But uh, if you do something, you start to like it. Because you all the time better and better and better. I got a taste of acrobatics just early on and I liked it. But But in terms of liking these things and loving these things, where does, where do you draw the line between when I'm making my child do this and they don't want to versus making play and fun for them so that they want to keep doing it? You know, as like a lot of children are raised as athletes. And as soon as they're old enough to make their own decisions, they hate that they were trained. They hate the sport that they were doing and spent their life on. They want to do anything else. So where where does this happen? And where where is the line on how you can keep it fun and engaging for the children so that they still like what they're doing? Okay, you go with your, uh, maybe in different countries, in different ages, you go to school, maybe six, seven years old. And maybe some... Uh, Uh, people say to him something bad and this child will say I not like it, school I not go anymore to school you s- will say okay I, you will agree no, no. Yeah. you must well. educate okay maybe it's the same with play vi- uh, viola or piano lot of uh, children play music, some very, uh, they like it, but uh, I knew that a lot of parents want that uh, they must play piano. Later, when they grow up, teenagers, maybe uh, adults, some people will say, ah, it was most bad time in my life, it's piano lessons, but other." Maybe 50-50, I don't know. Mm-hmm. The 50% said, ah, now I understand how useful it was. I am now can pia- uh, play piano. And the same with a lot of different things. That uh, uh, It's not good to uh, train with hard methods, but uh, you must try to explain. And uh, it's... Uh, maybe good, maybe not, to uh, give uh, some gifts. <laughs> A bribe? Maybe <laughs> lessons, <laughs> maybe pay <laughs> some money. <laughs> motivate, reward. <laughs> motivate. Yeah. It's motivation. Yeah, motivation, but uh, it's your decision. Maybe my uh, motivation is uh, different as your child, uh, with your child. Maybe one child, like after training lesson, uh, Drink sugar, lot mm-hmm. of sugar. Ah, yes. But other 
can scroll in five phone one hour or two hours after lesson but uh, maybe uh, later your child uh, tell you no I go to gym or I, I go to uh, uh, athletics because there uh, I have a lot of friends I like to move and they will how maybe you this day they sick and you can't travel mm-hmm. no I, it's my mm-hmm. lesson <laughs> you must drive me <laughs> and yeah. they will uh, ac- accept from you that you like um, pay from uh, trainings and uh, my english is very rough but i hope all, uh, <laughs> everybody understand yeah i guess it's a lot of like what children see in their parents and uh how you know how like you come here as well and you like enjoy it and it's like it's fun yeah, yeah i'm not just, just making him do it exactly. and him do these things <laughs> i'm playing with him i'm also exercising and i also like these things so make uh, the way i approach it i try to make it like play for him and always keep it fun for him i mean but who's to say that Uh, working hard cannot be fun either so it's like me keeping a play and playful doesn't mean that uh, at some point i'm not going to push him and one very uh, interesting and bad time was corona or covid time mm-hmm. in a lot of countries uh, people and also children needed to stay at home and a lot of people understand huh it's good <laughs> to do nothing <laughs> mm. and now it's very different uh, very difficult to start again mm-hmm. but uh, i think if you visit every day gym they uh, it's uh, strange one day no lessons how can i uh, live today yeah, uh, th- nothing to d- do during covid lockdowns when everything was locked down i was the fittest i had ever been Because I was so bored, I was just exercising. Yeah, but a lot of children also became addicted to TVs and to I mean, like screens because the parents just didn't know what to do with them, right? Oh yeah, because nobody to... spent time at home so much with their kids, yeah. and the kids just started picking up parents' <laughs> kind of uh, habits, let's yeah. say. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay, so we know about the safety, like how should people not do it over the stone floors and hard floors and make sure that there is like no furniture around so you need space. But what are the exercises that people can start with at home if they don't have the opportunity to be in Estonia and train with you? What they can do at home with their with their babies right away? I all uh, always start uh, like uh, warm up exercises uh, from legs, from hands. Uh, mm-hmm. and uh, around 10-15 minutes to uh, do uh, like warm-up exercises. But, so these uh, are just like holding the legs, doing the bicycle? Yeah, just some stretching, together, some... Uh, two legs at a time, uh, maybe I, movements. I, 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 I <laughs> yeah. uh, legs, this guy, this guy, and different <laughs> this guy exercises. And there is um, like uh, some uh, babies who afraid up and down. Who are afraid to be upside down. Up, upside down, mm-hmm. yes. But I recommend uh, to do these exercises, for example, uh, in bed. Mm-hmm. Not in air, but you in bed and take just uh, from legs. Uh, second, uh, some uh, babies... Uh, uh, Afraid to uh, afraid of heights to be higher. So just uh, keep on uh, on hand or sit on hand or stand on hand uh, later on shoulder. But uh, uh, sometimes you must be on on the knees to mm-hmm. be l- in lower position. And uh, some babies afraid if you relieve your hand a little bit. So like uh, jump up. And a little bit, but uh, some uh, children like uh, going uh, like cramp. Ooh. And so you must just Because... without relieve your hand. Mm-hmm. And uh, I recommend uh, just start 
every day maybe four five six uh, easy exercises and uh, like grow up with uh, step by step uh, and look which kind exercises your uh, baby like and uh, more uh, harder and harder and if you want some kind very uh, nice exercise to, uh, to do but uh, you thought that ah this exercise not like my baby not like so let it be last exercise mm -hmm. because if you start with this uh, baby start cry and you can't do anymore maybe one of the last lastest so something uh, happy last last exercise and everything is happy if people are looking for video guides with specific exercises then they can find them through uh, Lemby's account, right? The Acro, Acro, Baby, Acro Kids. Baby Kids. Acro Baby Kids on Instagram. Yes. So that's, that's where you can find the baby exercises and good samples on what you can start training. Yeah, and I think with. it always comes down to like listening to and looking at what the baby feels and yeah. how they're how they're liking it. Because Oscar, for example, loves the UFO. Like I think that's yeah. his that's his favorite one. So yeah, you always have to pick the one that stretch. is like yeah. yeah. And uh, if you want uh, uh, to watch uh, very crazy and amazing uh, daughter Endla, how she climbing up uh, on on the silk uh, in this way, mm -hmm. and how beautiful she is in circus, you must uh, check out Endla. Endla Vaher. <laughs> yeah, we're going to add all the links. And Velo Vaher, that's your account. Yes, Velo Vaher. So that's where people can find you. And so, yeah, perfect. Velo, thank you for taking the time to yeah. speak with us, share your knowledge with us. and uh, For training our baby. Yes, for training our <laughs> baby, for helping us raise resilient kids. It's it's a lot of fun always. And I'm very glad we uh, we started training with you. Yep. Thank you. Same here. Thank perfect. you so thank much for being here. Asking.